So there is some discourse right now on the internet about Spongebob the musical. It all started with this tweet that said, why did Spongebob need a live action musical to begin with? And honestly, I get you. Because I felt the same exact way when I saw Spongebob a couple years back. Hey, what's up? I'm Amanda and I'm really into theater. And if you are too, subscribe. You gotta understand, your girl was never a fan of Spongebob. I literally thought that Spongebob was like Coco Melon. You know, how Coco Melon is like melting your brains. I truly feel like Spongebob is the same way. And even after seeing the musical, I still feel the same way. I don't care about Spongebob the show at all. And you know what? I'm not gonna spend any more time talking about how much I don't like Spongebob because that's not what we're here to talk about. There's this tweet that caught my eye. It said, okay, since I retweeted the OG tweet, I just wanna say, I totally get this person and agree. This is, um, they agree with this other tweet, this tweet that said, I hate when non-theater folks get a hold of theater content because they really don't know what the hell they be talking about. Okay, back to the other tweet. They continued by saying, but SpongeBob, regardless of how fun it might be or the music, just should not be a musical in my opinion. And I feel like it looks bad on the industry too because it's all about money and not good stories. So hold on to that thought. Now there's another tweet that came up over this that said ah my favorite take this musical doesn't do it for me therefore it shouldn't exist take not everything is for everybody also spongebob is incredibly well written but some of y'all don't want to dig into that and just really want a show catering to children to cater to you first things first the whole idea that regardless of how spongebob how fun spongebob may be it just is bad for the industry because it shows that all the industry cares about is money and not good stories <sighs> can i be frank i don't think spongebob the musical is changing anyone's opinions on theater as a whole i say that but like generally speaking like hamilton came out and i don't think yeah everyone's just like oh my god hamilton was amazing but did that change anyone's opinion about the industry as a whole? I don't know. I still feel like people think lowly of theater, even though something like Hamilton came out. It's just one musical. And like, that's not fair to say. That's not fair to say because like, obviously like on an individual level, people's opinions about certain industries can change, you know, right? Like someone could watch a show and be like, oh my God, I really want to be into theater. I want to, I'm going to be in the world of theater, but like, the general public, society as a whole, I don't think is thinking any higher or lower of theater because of one show. Does that make sense? Maybe not. Maybe not, but like, Spongebob is not going to make or break Broadway. Also, not to be like that, but every industry only cares about money. Like there are shows that have literally been canceled. And when I say shows, I mean like cartoons that have been canceled because it hasn't brought any money. Even though the story was amazing. So like everything is low key about money and Broadway isn't any different. Sorry to disappoint. Okay, so let's get to the main point of this video. Also, SpongeBob is incredibly well written, but some of y'all don't wanna dig into that and just really wanna show catering to children to cater to you. It is totally fine for shows on Broadway to cater to a younger audience. Broadway is hella elitist, <laughs> you know? And part of being elitist means catering to a certain group of people. So anything or anyone that doesn't fit into that mold is automatically deemed as unworthy of engaging in Broadway. And that sucks, that sucks. Because here's the truth, here's the truth of it all. You need young people to get excited about Broadway. You need little kids to be like, oh my God, mom, I really wanna go see SpongeBob the Musical. Oh my God, mom, I wanna see Frozen on Broadway cause it's so cool. And that's, and that's, and that's fine. It's totally fine. It's totally fine. Like, if you are a theater person, right, and you have a family, and you're like, wow, I really wish I could bring my kids to come see the show. You can't, because everything's rated M for mature. How are younger kids going to be able to experience theater if they don't have anything like that for them on Broadway? They're not. I feel like this person, not the person that, you know, this tweet I'm referring to, the other person about how like SpongeBob looks bad on the industry, they're acting as if every single show on Broadway is SpongeBob the Musical. Like, you have plethora of other stuff. Like if SpongeBob is not your jam, we got Hades Town, we got Hamilton, we got Wicked, we got all sorts of stuff on Broadway. You feel me? So it's okay if we have like one SpongeBob, it's okay. 
And back to the whole, oh, if it's trash for me, then it shouldn't exist. Man, do you have any idea how many people have opinions on what's trash and what's not? If every single person felt that way, we won't have anything on Broadway. We won't have any sort of entertainment at all. Then again, <laughs> there's another tweet that came up. Girl, it's just SpongeBob. It's SpongeBob SquarePants musical. Please forgive people if they're not interested or think it's stupid. I get that. I get that. And you know what? I do forgive you. I do forgive you. But I think with most things, we should try to give it a chance before we completely knock it off. Now, if it's marketed in a way that, you know, doesn't interest you or doesn't appeal to you, then fine. But I don't necessarily think that it didn't have to be made. Then again, I'm saying this after having seen the show and knowing that the show is pretty good. I mean, <laughs> other people won't give it that chance, you know? Like, what if it was bad? Would I be here, like, defending it and whatnot? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. That's another thing we should uh, take into consideration. Anyway, in the comments below, let me know what you think. Do you agree or disagree with my takes? Do you have some takes of your own? Put them down in the comments. I love to read them. And as always, thanks for watching.